Hi, Lawrence. Hugh Svang. Um, my question is this. Criticism of science by religious people is sometimes focused on a particular scientific theory. Um, the multiverse theory has been criticised by religious people as an example of science having faith in a guess made without evidence at all in order to explain a mystery. Um, it's been suggested that scientists have faith in their theory in the same way that religious people have faith in their God. So do scientists have evidence that are suggestive of a multiverse? Can, uh, can you give us a multiverse theory in 30 seconds? <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> well, yeah, the, fr the difference between the multiverse and God is the multiverse is well-motivated um, by, by evidence, okay? So we've been driven to it because of, uh, of theories that actually do, do describe nature. And, uh, and so uh, those same theories can be tested. And so, in fact, just like we knew atoms existed before we could see them, okay, it is true that if there are many universes, we're subject, and, and in my own field, I'm, I'm constantly reminded that we're limited, that we live in one universe. Most of us do. The Republican Party in my country doesn't. But, <laughs> but, uh, uh, the, and therefore, there are, some, there are some questions we can't empirically <laughs> test directly. But if, for example, we have a fundamental physics theory that makes 25 predictions, all of which agree with the data, and, and, one, and the 26th prediction is that in the early universe, those same physical processes would have resulted in an early expansion that would produce many different regions that are causally disconnected, there'd be no reason not to, it, not to accept that fact. But the, diff the other huge difference if, is, however, that if there was any evidence against it, we'd throw it out like yesterday's newspaper. That's not the faith of religion. It's the fact that we, we make a theory, we test it, and we throw it out with impunity if it's wrong. And that's the hallmark of science. Lawrence, um, uh, I remember... <laughs> Very briefly, just we're, we're running out of time quite quickly, but I remember uh, the last time you were on this show, mm -hmm. uh, we went back uh, into the green room and I said to you, is it possible the multiverse, that is multiple yeah. universes, could have existed at the time of the Big Bang? And I, my, from memory you said yes. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, in fact, it's quite, if you look at what we now know about fundamental physics, it's quite likely it's, it, that our universe isn't unique. Almost all of the theories we have suggest our universe isn't unique. Now, but at you, the same time, you argue that the Big Bang sprang from nothing. But it can't if there are multiple universes. Oh, it certainly it can. There was nothing there. when, it, when There was absolutely no space, no time, no matter, no radiation. Space and time themselves popped into existence, which is one of the reasons why but it's in, hard to... But, oh, only, oh, but, oh, only on. but only in that universe. Only in that universe. That's right. But Lawrence, exactly. you have to ask the question, why are the majority of scientists believers in God? Actually, it's not true. 90, it is in my true. It is country, true. 90 percent of the scientists in the National Academy of Sciences in my country, the, the, the highest ranking group in the world, 90 percent of them don't believe in God. In, in the Royal Society, all the scientists, 80 all scientists. Uh, in fact, it, in fact, the point, you know what? Again, most, some people think God is important to science. It isn't. The point is that, again, as Steve Weinberg said, most scientists don't think enough about God to even know if they're atheists. It never comes up because it's not relevant to trying to understand how the universe works. I've never heard it discussed in a scientific well, meeting. It's just not an issue. Surveys. It's irrelevant. There have been yeah, Fred, surveys. Fred, mm. I, I think mm. I can help you with one thing at least, and that is that any God worth following wants converts, not conscripts. So... Religious people should stop looking to parliaments to conscript people in to a belief that they don't adopt. Okay, I'm China. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. The laws of the universe have dictated that we're out of time.